Maddie is seven years old now. She loves gymnastics and unicorns. She likes dressing up. She's just acting like a normal seven-year-old. Maddie's form of cancer is brain cancer, which is the second most common form of cancer in children, but hers was very different. It showed up when she was only four months old and it was very aggressive and at the time of diagnosis had already spread not just inside the brain but also had a disease that was coating her spinal cord. The initial diagnosis, I just remember him saying, we're gonna try everything to save her but it doesn't look good. They um, started chemo like right, right away. At first it was working and everything was going good but the chemo we had to actually stop. They wanted to do 13 cycles, but her body couldn't handle it anymore. There are some standard chemotherapies that we can use. And initially she did well with those, but then very, very shortly she relapsed. So that's when they came to me about the clinical trial. And I said, if it's going to help her, even give her a few months, a year, it didn't matter to me as long as we weren't going home to watch her die. The RNA sequencing analysis of Maddie's tumor helped us to identify what genes were overexpressed or underexpressed within her tumor relative to normal tissues. Thermo Fisher's targeted sequencing platform was incredibly important in helping us to identify two important mutations that were driving Maddie's tumor to grow. After the first two months, things were already changing. Her cancer was starting to diminish. Cancer in her spine was almost gone. The tumor was starting to, you know, shrink, and it is definitely been a huge miracle for our family. Thermal Fisher's NGS platform was most important in terms of determining the right treatment for, for Maddie. We're at an era right now where we don't need to wait until they're incurable. We can be doing this at diagnosis, understanding patients' tumors, Continuing to use the standard of care that we know is curative for patients, but also potentially adding targeted agents that might be even better for those that are not going to respond to the standard care. As a physician and researcher, seeing Maddie today running around and growing, it makes all of the research and the work worthwhile. This is what we're trying to do, trying to find a solution for a child that has no solution. And seeing her growing and off therapy, um, at a place where we never imagined that she'd be it is what we need to do for her and gives us the hope that we can do that for other kids. I call NGS my miracle and Maddie's miracle. Madison being here at seven years old, as a parent, looking back, I didn't think that was possible.